Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back. This video we're going to be talking about encapsulation. And encapsulation is one of three big pieces of object-oriented programming. We got encapsulation, inheritance, and polymorphism. So we're going to talk about those three things throughout the rest of these videos, but we're just going to take it one thing at a time, so let's get started. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. So the whole concept of encapsulation is that we can encapsulate something or basically put another layer around something and hide the inner details and just expose the things that we want to expose. The biggest place you're going to see this is with fields. So we've talked about fields. They're just variables at the class level and properties act as a gate to these fields. So it's something like this. So we have the variable, which is the field. Then we have a property and then we have the person who wants to get access to that field. We have to go through the property to get or to set the value of this field. This is the perfect example of encapsulation. So basically we put this circle around the field. <laughs> Maybe this is a terrible way to illustrate it, but essentially we, we put a, a force field around this variable and the only way we can access it is through this door which is the property. Now, other programming languages, and sometimes even inside of C-sharp, you're going to see what are known as getters and setters. Now, properties have these, the get and set part of it, but sometimes they're separate methods, and this is not really the recommended way to do it in C-sharp because properties have get and set capabilities, but you'll often see that. So what do I mean by that? You'll have a getter method, something like get name and set name, and this allows you to get the name or get whatever the field is, and this allows you to set a value to it. You'll see this in Java and other programming languages and occasionally in C-sharp, but in C-sharp there's a better way. When we have a property such as name, there is a get piece that we can create, and we can put code in there, and there is a set piece. This can act as the getter and the setter. So the same functionality exists in C-sharp, it's just more appropriate to put that all within a property. And we're gonna be doing that throughout the rest of this video series. So thank you guys, hopefully I gave you a good introduction to encapsulation. Again, it's just the idea that we can hide the inner details and just expose the things we want. So thank you all for watching, be sure to check out the next video and I'll see you then. Peace out.